Hey friends! Alright, so today it's Friday, it's our last day of the week, and um, I thought I would show you, um, whoops, uh, in answer to this question from Arthur, uh, we were chatting on Twitter yesterday, um, he was specifically asking or referencing um, a lesson from my uh, Simplify React applications with React hooks, um, right here, deeply compare inputs and a custom React hook for use effect. Uh, and so my solution uh, was a little bit complicated and we've come up with a, a better solution and I'm gonna be re-recording um, the, uh, the video with the simpler solution. Um, and it pretty much amounts to uh, just this. You have this use deep compare effect, uh, you have a callback and then use deep compare memoize, which basically just says if the value is not equal, then we'll change what the, the value is, and then you can use that um, as your uh, your input. So it works really well, um, but uh, Arthur was saying, um, like, it feels like this should be something that's built in, so um, why is it not? And I was suggesting that most of the time you shouldn't need to do a deep comparison in your use effect. Um, most of the time you should be just fine with the regular use effect. So if that's not making much sense to you, then uh, just give me a second. Oh, whoops, I need to fork this. This is my, my default. Um, it has everything that I, I like all set up in Code Sandbox, but let's get rid of this. We'll import React from React. Let me bump this up a little bit. Uh, get rid of this. And we'll say, hi. And that, there we go. And then let me switch into, um, sometimes the yeah command shift P does not work well, but let's go in Zen mode. And here we are, happily in Zen mode. And so um, in his example, he says, hey, uh, let's say that I have a form that has this initial state. So we're gonna have um, our initial state here. And then we're going to, uh, render our form for us. Um, well, let's just do a div here and a pre that has JSON stringify state null two pre, and then we'll have our state and dispatch equals react dot use reducer with that uh, initial state. Or actually, we need our reducer reducer in our initial state, make a function reducer that takes our state and our action and then returns um, whatever, we'll just say our state right now. Doesn't really do anything. Um, so for those of you new to React hooks, um, I this is not the video to start. Um, I mean, you can, I guess, but um, I recommend you go to reactjs.org slash hooks. That will take you to the intro and you can uh, learn all about it. Definitely watch this video. And then, oh my goodness, what just happened? I just hid my stuff. Uh, let's get that back. Um, yeah, so I definitely recommend watching this. And once you've gotten your load out of that, then you can go to kcd.im slash hooks and suspense and then kcd.im refactor react and you can enjoy a bunch of lessons on hooks. I'm not going to describe what hooks do in this live stream. Uh, okay, so um, yeah, we've got, our, we've got our state, we have our initial state. So if we look at our, our state, it's all rendered out there. You know, it's all just null. So the, the question was specifically, what if I wanted um, to uh, validate the email um, credit card and address using external services. So we're gonna say, um, we're gonna say function validate, and that's gonna take, you know, whatever, and it's not gonna do anything, return promise.resolve, whatever. Okay, so we need to call this validate function in here. So we'll say use effect and do do do. Uh, and here we'll have some state const is valid and uh, set is valid react use state and we'll just initialize that to true um, and then this is react.use effect um, so then we're going to say 
Um, yeah, validate. Then that is valid. True, I guess it. Whatever, and then catch will. S that is valid to false. I don't know. However, you want to do do that magic, but we don't want to run this every single time, right? We only want to run this when the state that we're trying to validate is failing, uh, and so the state that we are trying to validate is going to be uh, parts of the state. So uh, from this question, it was the email, card, and address. Okay, so we're going to say uh, email, card, address, and that's going to come from state dot um, what is it? State dot contact dot email and then state dot billing dot card and state dot um, contact dot address. Okay, and then presumably you'd have others, but hopefully you can see you just, you know, you're going to be pa um, passing this data into something. So um, there is actually a note in the React hooks about what I'm about to say. So let me find it. Um, use effect, do, 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 do. Uh, advanced enough compiler, there we go. A sufficiently advanced compiler could create this automatically. So that's what, uh, when it's talking about use effects dependencies, this is basically, it doesn't call your callback until um, one of the dependencies changes. And if you don't provide any dependencies, it'll call it every time. If you provide an empty array of dependencies, it'll only call it once because then it's impossible for them to change. So um, what this note is saying is um, that a sufficiently advanced compiler could look at this code statically, determine that, oh, you're using props.source, so I'm going to make that a dependency. So um, maybe one day we write a really cool Babel plugin or something that automatically generates that uh, dependencies list for us so we don't have to um, maintain it ourselves. So what would that um, sufficient enough uh, compiler do for us? Let's get rid of that. And well, that uh, compiler would look at this and say, oh, you're using um, that, so let me stick that into my array. And then you're using this, we'll stick this into my array. And this, we'll stick that into my array. Ta-da! And now it only is validating when um, when one of those things changes. Um, and so, like, it really kind of depends. If you want to um, not validate them all at once, you just want to validate one at a time. Then what I would recommend is you'd say a function uh, use validate and the uh, value and a validator or something like that. And then you'd have a use effect, and the validator uh, just checks the value. Um, the react.use effect. Uh, your dependency list would simply be the value. And then you'd have a validator for that value, and so on and so forth. Maybe there'd be, um, yeah, uh, there would be like your return is valid, and then you'd have a const is valid. Well, just this thing. Do. -do, -do. Um, and actually, maybe it would need to be a. Uh, yeah, so then whoop, you'd say then set is valid. All the same stuff that we had before. So you would uh, set it whether or not it's valid based off of this validator. So there are a lot of ways to do this. You don't have to, like my, my end all point of this is you don't have to um, have a, um, a custom built in hook that is like use effect but uh, would allow you to just pass a whole object here and say, anytime any of this state changes, then I want you to run this use effect. Um, that would probably not be what you want because here actually all we want is when the contact billing, or sorry, the email card or address change, not when everything else changes. So there, yeah, it's, it's pretty nuanced, but I think that the um, solution is pretty, um, it is a little complicated, but I'm literally probably going to, going to write a module for this today. Um, then you'll just import the module. It's just a couple lines of code too, so you, like may not even use the module. Um, um, but yeah, like I don't see it as a common enough problem um, to make it necessary to build it in. And even if it were, the workaround is pretty uh, straightforward anyway. So um, anyway, let me just check out any questions that people might have. Um, yeah, no questions. Uh, so hopefully that was helpful and interesting. 
Um, and uh, yeah, I am pretty excited about hooks. I think they're great. Uh, and it, it does take a little bit of a change in your mindset of how things are supposed to, how things work. But boy, do they compose like so well. So yeah, enjoy that composition. I will, um, yeah, I will see you all next week. I hope you have a nice weekend. Goodbye.